the Hebrew Bible. We call it the Old Testament, but in actuality, it is the Hebrew Bible. It is the Bible that Jewish people use today, and it's also our Bible. I want to tell you a little bit about a particular passage in Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 4 to 9. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. Keep these words that I'm commanding you today in your heart. Recite them to your children and talk about them when you are home, when you are away, when you lie down, and when you rise. Bind them as a sign on your hand. Fix them as an emblem on your forehead. And write them on the doorposts of your house and of your gate. All right, so here's my question for you. Are you ready? And the question is this. Why do you think this section, which is known as the Shema, includes the phrase, the Lord alone? What else might have been mistaken for God by the Israelites? What might be a God for us today? In this verse, the central creed of the Jewish faith, what's something that you try to remember every day? God calls the Israelites to remember God. Do you have a motto that you live by or a set of personal values that you keep? This passage tells us to keep these words in your heart. How is this different than keeping these words in your mind? What would keeping them in your heart look like? So I'm going to ask you now to go to Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 4 through 9, and look specifically at verses 4 to 5. The central creed of the Jewish faith, and answer these questions. Why do you think the Shema includes the words, the Lord alone? What else might have been mistaken for God by the Israelites, and what do you mistake for a God? What's something that you try to remember every day? Do you have a motto that you live by? And this passage tells us to keep these words in our hearts. What does it mean when you keep these words in your mind? And what is it like when a word is in your heart?